Cholera is still one of the most feared infectious diseases on the planet. Transmitted via contaminated drinking water, it produces a toxin that in humans leads to potentially fatal diarrhea. But a team of German scientists now says that toxin production can be blocked. They've discovered that the virulence factors encoded by specific genes only become active once the bacteria enter the body. It's a question of temperature. At ambient temperatures of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, the virulence factor is not turned on, but that is not the case when the bacteria enters the gastrointestinal tract after it's swallowed. The temperature there is 37 degrees, and all the virulence factors are turned on at that temperature. The researchers in Bochum first saw signs of this unusual behavior in the lab while they were using a dye to track toxin production in cholera. At 37 degrees, the bacteria are visible under ultraviolet light. At 20 degrees, however, toxin production is blocked. The key element here is a molecule called ribonucleic acid, or RNA. It contains the information for the production of the toxins. Proteins in the cell scan that information and generate toxins as prescribed. But at lower temperatures, the strands of RNA stick together in particular areas. This prevents the bacteria's proteins from accessing the information in the spot where the toxin information is stored. Like the rest of the body, the intestines are a steady 37 degrees Celsius. At that temperature, areas where the strand is stuck are unzipped, allowing access to the encoding information. The bacteria begins to produce its toxins, and the human host begins to experience the symptoms of cholera. The researchers have now tested their insights in a series of animal experiments, modifying the RNA to such a degree that even at 37 degrees, it could no longer be read. Despite being infected with cholera, the test animals remained healthy. The team is now focusing its efforts on determining whether the insight can lead to a real breakthrough in the fight against cholera. Its goal is to develop a drug that could be deployed preventively on a large scale. Then where there is a danger of a cholera epidemic, we could then add a medicinal substance to the drinking water. That medicine would penetrate the bacteria and prevent the RNA from unzipping. The pathogen would no longer be virulent and could no longer trigger the disease. The hope is for a simple but effective means of beating cholera for good.